fans, and welcome to our Coach's Corner for November 17th. Chad Jackson joined by head volleyball coach Will Condon. And coach, it's the postseason. Armstrong Atlantic has earned its third straight NCAA championships berth. But first, let's get a little retrospective on the Peach Bowl Conference Tournament, which you hosted here in Savannah. Pirates had two big five-set wins that, at the end of the day, probably was key in getting your team into the regional. Yes, uh, we were fortunate that the, the, uh, the, the bracket fell the way it did, uh, being able to play Pembroke and Montevallo, and then Flagler, uh, I think that helped our strength of schedule a little bit, and that probably bumped us up a little bit, and then being able to get uh, two wins over Pembroke for the year instead of being one and one, and then um, same thing with Montevallo, I think that, that helped us a little bit. Uh, and just, uh, I think everything was real close beforehand, and that was just enough to push us over the edge and, and get us in. The Pembroke match was very reminiscent of your road match at Lander this year, where it was two points in each of the early sets, but then you were able to get some separation and win that match in five. Yeah, uh, the Pembroke match was it was very intense. I thought uh, both teams played well. Um, there was really no um, domination by any team for really any considerable length of time. In, in any of the match. So uh, fortunately for us, we've kind of been following the same theme all year as uh, play the best when our backs are to the wall, and, and we were able to uh, get a win. And then, Coach, in the semifinals, you had a five-set win over Montevallo to put your team into the championship match. Talk a little bit about that win over the Falcons. I think uh, we did a great job of uh, jumping on them early, and then we did a bad job of uh, letting them back in the match. Uh, I think that Montevallo... Uh, uh, took some, they had a lineup change, so it took some adjusting to get used to that. And in three and four, they got used to it. And then again, we follow our theme of the year, which is to wait until our backs are to the wall and play our best. Uh, we, uh, we we did a great job of, of scoring the points when we absolutely needed to score them. Uh, I think that uh, for some reason our team just likes playing five games every night. But. Um, we were, we were fortunate to get out of there with a win because Montevallo is a tough team. They got some, it's a great offensive team and a great defensive team as well. So, um, you know, we were able to force the issue in game five and, uh, you know, the ball hit the floor for game point for us. So it was good win. Two of your Pirate players earned all tournament honors, senior Gwen Clark and sophomore Brittany Wolf. Talk about their efforts and also whether players you're pleased with their effort this weekend. Um, well, I think Gwen did an amazing job of uh, carrying our team against Pembroke. I think that you know there was a time there where things weren't looking so great, and it, it seemed like she just basically said, you know, enough is enough. We're going to win this, and she made some great plays, blocking, hitting, and it kind of got us momentum back, and that kind of got Brittany on fire a little bit. And so you know, she did a great job the whole weekend, all three matches, even even against Flagler. I, I thought she was doing really well. I mean, I think they, she was giving them fits, and, and uh, she was uh, virtually unstoppable the whole weekend. Um, I think Brittany did, had a great first match against Pembroke. I mean, she's just uh, such an athlete and such a mismatch for some people. But, you know, she's still young, and she has her ups and downs. Uh, but when she's on, I mean, she is very hard to stop, that's for sure. Now, one of the quirks of Division Two volleyball is that you face Flagler in the championship match, and then when the NCAA bids were announced late Sunday, you find out you have to play Flagler in the first round of the NCAA tournament coming up this weekend in Wingate. Talk a bit about that. How does it change your approach at all to that match since you're going to see them twice within essentially five days? Um, no, I think uh, I think the match on Sunday, it basically, I, th I thought we did some good things offensively. I think we did some th good things defensively. Uh, I thought our serving, which has been a struggle for us all year, was actually really good. And we were a little disappointed that, you know, we're hitting, we're playing some defense, and we're serving, yet we're still losing. And that was frustrating because it was just a bunch of little plays that killed momentum and kept us from um, keeping, getting a lead or keeping a lead or, or, or getting ahead the whole match. Um, but you know the the encouraging thing is that we, we you know we were offensively scoring points and we were serving them tough and getting them out of the system a little bit. So going into next week, you know, 
but we just have to continue that. I think playing 10 sets two days before when they're playing seven makes a difference. And it's not just the fact that you're playing 10 sets. I mean, we played 10 intense sets that came down to the very end in each one. So, I mean, that can wear on you mentally and physically, and I think it showed on Sunday. Now, we don't have that. Both teams have off. Both teams are... That will be their first match of the tournament. The way we always look at that is whether you play them in the first round or in the last round, you're probably going to have to play a flag there. So you know, maybe we, we're going to get one of the hardest ones out of the way first uh, if, if we can do it. But, you know, it gives us an opportunity to take our two days of practice or two and a half days of practice this week and really focus on just doing things for that team. And we know we're going to tweak some things a little bit, change some things, focus on some things that worked, and focus on some things we struggled on, and, and hopefully it will make a difference on Friday. Armstrong Atlantic faces Flagler College at 2.30 on Friday at the NCAA Southeast Regional in Wingate, North Carolina. Coach, good luck. We'll be Thank following you. along. Wingate will provide live statistics and live video of the match, and you can find that link to the tournament website on our site, ASUPirates.com.